of the saints of the Most High God, we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This broadcast is another biblical and inspiring series of the Whole Truth Gospel radio program, a biblical program that is dedicated for the salvation and edification of all humanity, regardless of the race of color. Today, our broadcast is written from Kingston, Jamaica, the British West Indies. The headquarters of all the churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith is located in downtown Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the USA. Think of S.G. Johnson, founder, pastor, and general overseer. <laughs> Meditation as our edge of tent shall lead us in prayer. Our Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever, we thank you at this present moment for your goodness and for your mercy. We thank you, dear Lord God, for this blessed salvation which thou hast handed down unto us through your servant, praise God, Bishop S.C. Johnson. Thank God uh, we praise you for him, dear Lord Jesus, and we ask you to bless him today so that, dear Lord God, the world may get this, amen, gospel to them, that they may see themselves before, amen, the danger after sin, dear Lord God, take them in hell, and that they may get the chance to repent of their sins and be baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be filled with the Holy Ghost. I pray that you will bless this broadcast, send it upon the ways of the here until it shall reach to every nation under heaven, so that they too may have a chance, praise God, amen, to be saved, amen, and be ready when you come. Bless your dear servant, our precious apostle Johnson again today, Lord. Bless him, strengthen him, give him, Lord God, amen, power ever to stand upon all his enemies, until all shall bow to the truth and humble themselves, Amen, and be saved to sin no more. Please to bless and do us good today, and give the victory to thy blood. We ask it all in Jesus' name, and for the glory of our God. Amen. Thank you. 
Bessie Johnson International Radio Network, the world's largest apostolic faith radio network. Today, the broadcast is originating from Kingston, Jamaica, the West Indian Islands. Today, Bishop Bessie Johnson is here in person, and we'll be here all day today in Kingston, Jamaica, the Lord be willing. Now, he'll be preaching at the Ward Theater. Now, the Ward Theater is located in downtown Kingston, Jamaica. Our local church here is not able to accommodate the large audience that we expect today. Our local church address in Kingston is 12 Hillview Avenue, Kingston, 10, Jamaica. Elder Bent, the presiding elder of the local Kingston Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Now, neighbors, Bishop Johnson Corley invites you to keep tuned to these great programs and hear him answer these questions with the Word of God. Now, does the Bible speak about the hour of the season? Is the Godhead plural? And does the inspired scriptures mention the word penalty? Are there any scriptural references or a biblical account where anyone was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Now, these great programs are heard nightly on many of our stations. In Philadelphia, the programs are heard nightly of our local headquarters station, 70 AS of Philadelphia, 7 to 8 p.m. Programs are heard every Sunday at the same station, 9 to 10 a.m. Now, these programs are heard every night in Alice, Texas, over station KOPY, 1070 kilocycles, 10 to 11 p.m. nightly in Alice, Texas. The programs are heard daily in Chattanooga, Tennessee, 2 to 3 p.m. over station WNOO. The programs are heard nightly in New York City, Monday through Saturday. Uh, 11 to 12 midnight over station WNTA 970 kilocycles. Now, the programs are heard once a week in Europe, the Middle East, and parts of Africa, over the great overseas radio station, Radio Monte Carlo. Now, the programs are heard once a week on the all hours radio network of Hawaii, every Sunday afternoon, 2 30 to 3 30 p.m. Now, neighbor, the following is a partial listing of the member churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Now, the headquarters of all the churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith is located in America in downtown Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at 22nd and Bainey Street. Now, over here in Kingston, Jamaica, our local church address is 12 Hillview Avenue, Kingston, Penn, Jamaica. In Boston, 640 Tremont Street. In Chattanooga, Tennessee, 31 East Main Street. In Cincinnati, Ohio, 3136 Reading Road. Chicago, Illinois, 3202 West Ogden Avenue, Columbia, South Carolina, 2439 Reed Street, Detroit, Michigan, 5317 Kane Street, Louisville, Kentucky, 1224 Walnut Street, Memphis, Tennessee, 2472 Carnes Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee, 1003 Monroe Street, Miami, Florida, 819 Northwest 2nd Avenue, Tampa, Florida, 1226 East Broadway, New York City, 1421 5th Avenue, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 2334 Bedford Avenue, Danville, Virginia, 534 Spring Street, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, 146 South Graham Avenue, Washington, D.C., 1230 C.C. Northeast. On the West Coast, Portland, Oregon, 920 Southwest 3rd Avenue, San Diego, California, 1653 Logan Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 4165 South Central Avenue, San Francisco, California, 991 Mission Street. In the southwest, Phoenix, Arizona, 1301 East Buckeye Road, Houston, Texas, 1809 Dallas Street, Fairmont, Texas, 1990 Sarah Street. Now, visit church on the, on the west coast and also the southwest. Our service in Phoenix, Arizona is every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Sunday mornings, 11 o'clock. Sunday evening, 7.30 p.m. Now, this all so applies to San Francisco, California. And also Los Angeles, every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. On Sunday, 11 o'clock. Sunday evening, 7.30 p.m. Now, in San Diego, the service every Wednesday and Friday night, 7.30 p.m. The same time on Sunday. Now, visit churches and be well informed about the Word of God by Bishop Betsy Johnson. Now, neighbor Bishop Johnson has available his scriptural physical literature. Now, when book form is, Bishop Johnson holds two gospel books. In this same book, Bishop Johnson answers very clearly 21 burning subjects. 
and the subjects are as follows. The God is the new birth. Now it's spread in a form of baptism. Then there's holiness, divine healing, communion, feet washing, pies saying, women's features, the Sabbath day, pride, women wearing men's apparel, forbidding to marry, divorce and remarriage, translation of the Bible, secret society, music, head covering, chained wife, the thief on the cross, and breaking of bread. Now to obtain this great book, please send 25 cents to Bishop F. C. Johnson. Then there is our monthly publication called The Whole Truth Magazine, a soft copy of 35 cents. You can subscribe to The Whole Truth for a whole year for four dollars. And Connie addressed all subscriptions to The Whole Truth Magazine in care of Bishop F. C. Johnson. Now the mailing address is post office box 3880. Philadelphia, 46, Pennsylvania. And don't forget to request special literature written by Bishop Bessie Johnson covering a multitude of biblical subjects relative to salvation. All these subjects contain many revelations on the deep mysteries of the Word of God. So friends of you in doubt of any subject relative to salvation want to know the truth about it and be sure to write for enlightened literature written by Bishop Bessie Johnson. It's free upon request. Mailing address again is Bishop S. C. Johnson. Post Office Box 3880, Philadelphia, 46, Pennsylvania. And don't forget to keep tuned to these programs and be well informed about the Word of God by Bishop S. Johnson. I'd like to inform you again that today the broadcast is originating from Kingston, Jamaica, the West End of the Island. Our local church is not able to accommodate the crowd that we expect today, so we have acquired the auditorium of the War Theater in downtown Kingston, Jamaica. Our local church address is, 11, uh, is, is 12 Hilby Avenue. That's number 12, Hilby Avenue, Kingston, Ten, Jamaica. Our radio senior choir, or part of it, will sing a uh, big part. Well, we're going to have a, a duet. This is part of our choir over here with us. A duet sung by Sister Anna Nidal, and Mr. Howard Davis at the piano. Lord, teach my teach. The way to go. Now we dedicate this song to all the saints back home in Philadelphia and all the saints throughout the entire diocese. We greet you today from Kingston, Jamaica. Now we send greetings also from Elephant and all the saints back to you to all the saints in America. Bye. 
National Radio Network. Today the broadcast is originating from Kingston, Jamaica, the West End of the Island. Now this is Mr. Johnson's first first appearance in Kingston, Jamaica. Now he'll be here today preaching at the Ward Theater in downtown Kingston, Jamaica. The service starts 11 a.m. Everybody's calling invited to hear him in person today at the Ward Theater in downtown Kingston, Jamaica. Now the admission preach the wall regardless of the race of color. Come out early and get a seat. Ward Theater in downtown Kingston, Jamaica. The service starts at 11 a.m. Don't forget, now to be out today, the mission is free to walk. And also, now in America, don't forget to keep tuned to our radio station back there, and especially in Philadelphia, every night over the headquarters station. And also, visit the headquarters in downtown Philadelphia every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. at the General Assembly in downtown Philadelphia. Now, today, 
As we said, we have acquired the auditorium of this large theater. We call our church here is adequate to accommodate the large crowd that we expect to have. Our local church address in Kingston here is 12 Hillby Avenue, Kingston, 10, Jamaica. Ella Esther, Ben Pastor, and the Dying Elder. They the best three songs with Pastor and General Overseer. Now, that song was sung, that duet was sung by Sister Ime and Mr. Howard Davis, was dedicated to all the saints in America and throughout the entire world. The day the broadcast written at it from Kingston, Jamaica, uh, the Kingston Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Now, we send greetings back home to all the saints, and Ella Ben and also the congregation out here in Kingston send greetings back to America and throughout the world to the saints who send their best greetings and regards. We present you now from Kingston, Jamaica, the Honorable Bishop S. C. Johnson, the world's foremost minister, Bible analyst, and authority on the divine inspired word of God. The next word to Kingston, Jamaica, Bishop S. C. Johnson. One, 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 one way. Oh, there's one, one, one. There's one, one, one. I know it's one. Just one. Oh, it's one. Yeah. Oh, it's one.
uh, that is given to me in the mystery of Christ. I ever, I said to you over and over again, there is only one thing. If you know the Bible, if you believe the Bible, then you'll take the Bible for it. The Bible speaks of one Lord, one Lord. The Bible speaks of one faith. The Bible talks about one baptism. After the Bible speaks of the one Lord, the one faith, and the one baptism, then that's an end. There is nothing else given to the church to believe in. The only thing is given to the church to believe in is believe in the one Lord and believe the one faith and believe the one baptism. When you believe that it's one Lord, then you'll accept Jesus. For well, that one law, because it's not two laws, it's only one. And when you accept him, that one Lord, then that means you're going to abide by everything he says. Won't get mixed up. That's the reason God makes you to know you only got one to hear. You know, people don't want to hear too many folks. Eh? They want one to give commandments, one to give orders. And if too many crowd in there, they're going to find out how many will I have to hear. Amen. And most anybody will say that. I said that once. I was working on a job. And, of course, they had a whole lot of little pooches around there. And everybody was giving the commandment. So then there was a fellow one day yelled at me and told me what to do. And uh, I just thought, now I'm getting too many bosses. And I said to him, who is the boss around here? And of course, he told me freely that I am. And I told him with such authority, I believed him. When I got a chance to speak to one of the fellows that worked there longer than I, I asked, who is that fellow? There with that chap on and blue shirt and those pants. Looked like him he was hungry and needed something. But they said, that's the chief man. And I knew who the boss was. Then I settled down on what he said. They called him Milk Bill. Or oh, whenever Milk Bill spoke, I heard Milk Bill. Then I wouldn't get mixed up. So God don't want us to get mixed up. Want us to understand that it's only one master. And that one master is Jesus Christ. So then the Bible says one Lord. We've got a world full of people that believe in three. But that is not in keeping with what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches us. It's one Lord. I've had a battle. Of course, I get battles wherever I go. Because my gospel is so different from everybody's gospel until everybody jumps on me. Nevertheless, I'm able to come out. I've had a battle a battle since I left. Of course, I always get fixed uh, about this one Lord. Amen. That was with the so-called Church of Christ folks, of course. They had been so badly beaten everywhere, in every place, that I put the soul on my feet. They won't come to And I'm determined to stop them out. Uh, Forever. When they speak, they don't speak according to what the Bible says. One told me that I was debating him Sunday night and he told me that he, Jesus Christ, was not the Father. 
I brought the Bible to him and showed him what the Bible said. And of course, he said when it's uh, uh, properly explained, application, that yes, I asked was Jesus the Father, because Jesus said so. Uh, you hear this now. You see, they can't get out. One thing you have to do when you condemn one thing I preach, you've got to either say that the Bible lies, I'm right, or you lie. So he damned it, which I do everybody. I questioned him that's an end. I asked him, was Jesus the Father? He said, no. Then I brought Bible where Jesus said, he that sees me has seen the Father. I asked him, was that the truth? Well, uh, he couldn't say. He, he was wicked enough to say. They, they are plenty wicked enough to call God a lie. Because it's a bunch of so-called uh, preachers are in for them. They don't believe the Bible. But he said, well, with the proper application. <laughs> well, I, that was all I want. Because I know when Jesus says saying it's properly application. Uh, that was a proper application. So then he lied and it, it, it died. So then, stay in mind. Yeah, yeah, really. I said that the Bible teaches in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, Verse 4 and 5. Let us hear this. Then when you hear this, you won't go to nobody else. Sir. You stay home and save your shoe leather. That is, unless you are just the first class up to date. Number one is the thing. I see, uh, we can't do that with you. Just let you go on to hell. But I'm talking about whosoever among you that fear God you see. Is the word of this salvation said. Listen, God is getting his people straightened out because when he brought the children of Israel up out of the land of Egypt, God made them to understand I'm going to deliver you from the heathen. And I have something for you to, to obey that the heathen knows nothing about. And I don't want you to get mixed up with heathenism. So then he spake to Israel through Moses, yeah. saying what? In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Yes. Hear, hear, O Israel, o Israel, the Lord our God, what? The Lord our God, the Lord our God is one Lord. Did you hear that? Hear, O Israel, Israel, yeah. I'm talking to God folks. Yeah. Not talking to heathen. Everybody that believes is free to think present in the Godhead is a heathen. Huh? Heathen, but God is talking to his people. Want to deliver them from heathenism. And said the Lord, Dear O Israel, Dear O Israel, The Lord our God, The Lord our God, Is one Lord. Is one Lord. You get that? The Lord our God is one Lord. And, and David said, in Psalm 100, verse 3, no evil Lord. Psalm 100, verse 3. Yes. Know ye, do you know? Know ye, know ye that the Lord, he is God. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. He, that singular. Yes. Eh? That's right. That's not two, no. not three. No. Know ye, know ye that the Lord, that the Lord, he is God. He is God. And we don't have but one Lord. That's right. And that one Lord, give me River Isaiah 44. Isaiah? Yes. Chapter 44? Yes. Verse 44. 24. Listen at this. Thus, Say the Lord, thy Redeemer, I have a certified God. I know you're going to talking no more forever. Go home, sit down, cross your legs. Amen. Stay out of everything culture. Because I have a certified gospel here. 
Thank God that is backed up with the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot be condemned. Oh, it is God, the heaven will go away. Amen. But the word of our God shall stand forever. Yes. Eh? Yes. So God brought it Amen. down from heaven because he ordained it. Yes. Amen. He ordained before the foundation of the world. I hear the apostle Paul speaking. Amen. From the first chapter of the book of Ephesians. Then blessed be the God, God, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that men should be holy. Eh? God Almighty make the heavens. Amen. And then seal them and come on down. Thank God through 42 generations. Put on a body from the womb of a woman to work out what a purpose. When he made bless God Adam he sinned. But he didn't change his purpose. Come on down through 42 generations. Amen. And put a body on and went to the cross. The third day he rose again and come on back to his disciples saying to them, These are the words that I speak unto you. While I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled. That was written in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. So then God Almighty, before the morning stars sang together, ordained that men live holy. Amen. The fountain hadn't brought water, but God ordained men live holy. Sun hadn't shined in the stars. Praise God, the fountain hadn't been opened up, and nothing, thank God, existed. If the space hadn't been swung out old enough, but God ordained this, and there's nothing you can do about it. But just sit around here, die, go to hell, stay there forever. But the word of our God shall stand forever. Yeah. Eh? So then God, that's a sin step by himself. Praise God talking to uh, creation. Yeah. Let creation know who did all of this. That's yeah. it. Right. God, when you look at the tree, when you look at the sea, when you look at the moon, when you look at the star, when you look at every living creature that moves, praise God, we've got to refer back, not to a three, no. not two, no. but we've got to go back to him. That's it. Because he said, yeah, that's right. Say what? Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Our Redeemer. We don't have but one. And our Redeemer. And he that and formed me from the womb. that formed me from the womb. I am, I am the Lord. 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 I am the Amen. He appeared to him. Yeah. He will always come to his feet. Yes, he will. In the time of trouble. Yes, he will. Amen. He appeared. John yes, said, I heard a voice. Sounds yes, like many waters. Amen. Amen. When I looked, I yes, see yes, one. one. With his head like a lamb. Yes. Yes. Eyes were like a flame of fire. Yes. Amen. That's very comforting. Has been to us. I know. We that live upright, his eyes are comforting. Comfort. Yes. You understand yes. that. Amen. Somebody that is favor. You got favor with you. Yeah. They can tell you you got favor. Yes. Yeah. By looking at that. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that right? That's right. Glory to God and his eyes was like a flame of fire. Then uh, on the other hand, uh, somebody that has got it in for you. Yeah. He'll let you know it with his eyes. That's right. Isn't that right? Yeah. Glory to God so to the sinner. Yeah. He's looking very really ugly at you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank God, but to us, yes. that have humbled ourselves, yes. went on down in water, yes. in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. and offered our bodies to him as a living sacrifice, oh. his eyes are covering. Glory to God is saying, come unto me, yes. all that labor, yes. and I have a lady, yes. and I'll give you rest. Yes. So then John said, his hair is hair. Yes. Well, like lamb's wool. That's right. Amen. He, he's very valuable. Yes. In Bible time, wool was valuable. Yes. Yes. That's yes. Is the most valuable thing. Yes. Thank God that it pictured him. Praise God as a fire that 
that is comforting and consuming. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Why it's very comforting when it's control right. That's yeah. a, oh, when it's zero outside. Yeah. Uh-huh. You can lay back yeah. and it's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Why, but if it break out, you jump out the window. That's right. Isn't that right? Uh-huh. Thank God so Jesus. Praise God, Tom son. Yes, and he talked about it. Yes. That his voice was what? As a voice of many waters. A voice of many waters. It did. It Thank God. And his, head. And his hair well, white. was white. Like wool. Like wool. As white as snow. White as snow. And his eyes. Eyes. Well, as, his flame. as a flame of fire. And his feet. Feet like a defined Thank bread. God heeding. Yes. You know when the children of Israel sin. Amen. God told him to put up a crazy serpent in the wilderness. Yes. So it's for, he, for healing too. Yes. Yes. His feet. Yes. And God was like fine brass. Yes. As if it will burn in a furnace. In a furnace. Boy, his boy. Like as a sound of many waters. Sound of many water. As his right hand seven saw. Yes. And I'm thank mouth. God he's a complete, God with a complete power. Yes. 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 Seven is complete. Yes. Uh-huh. All right. And out of his mouth. Out of his mouth. When a sharp, a sharp twig is full. That's it. Amen. That's his word. Yeah. Thank God it's going to cut you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Right in there. Yeah. Oh, you might as well get yourself ready. Yeah. But he said to John, yeah. in the time of trouble, yeah. and said what to him? I am out. I am. Oh, it's a God he didn't change. Couldn't change his characteristics. No. That couldn't do it. No. They put him to the cross, but it didn't change. No. That's it. Dead that body, but it didn't change. That's it. Come on back. And when it came back, it said to his disciples, See, are the words that yeah. I speak unto you while I was yet with you. That all thing must be fulfilled. That had written in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then he opened the understanding so he wouldn't make no mistake. Yeah. All right, but what is that then? I am out. I am out. I am out. I am out. Yeah. Yeah. Behold. Behold. He cometh with me. He, 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 not me. I mean, yeah. he's in one he step. He cometh with me. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no two coming. No, no one of them. God, we got one husband. One. Oh, said, I have done what I vowed to the one of them. How many husbands? One husband. That's right. That there might be a chase for the book. Is that right? That's right. So that church is looking for that blessed hope. Yeah. That blessed hope. Yeah. Not those hopes, no. no. But that blessed hope. Yeah. And that glorious appearing yeah. of the great God. Yeah. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. When he gets there, it'll be he. Yeah. All right, what is that? Behold, behold. He cometh. He cometh with clouds. With clouds. And every eye. Every eye. Shall see him. Oh, it is God says a man getting around in the world of work in the world. I don't know why it's in the house, but if it ain't how he's going out there, so oh, it is God <laughs> that's claiming to be God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And a whole lot of folks never see. Yeah. Oh, it is God once uh, the saint said to one, one day they told him, say, well, that uh, he's God. Say, he is? Yeah. Is he here? Yeah. Say, well, that's compared to the Bible, because the Bible says every eye. That's right. Shout, that's it. That's it. That's it. God. The Bible will make your life. That's right. Every eye shall see him. That's right. Even them that pierce. Every eye shall see him, and oh, they also will pierce yeah. him. God, them that pierce him. And all the children, and all the kindred of the earth shall wail, shall wail because of him. Even a man I hear God talking back then in Zechariah, that they shall look upon him. He's going to pour out upon the house of faith a spirit of grace and a supplication. Yes. And say they shall look upon whom they have, whom they have seen. That's right. Goodness has Amen. Come. Thank God this man that claim to be God. He ain't got no wounds. No. Bless God, it have not been tears. Haven't been tears. Oh, it's God but this one. Yes. Amen. Right. Come on. Eh? That's right. And said what? Behold, Behold, he cometh with clouds. He cometh with clouds. And every eye shall and see him. every eye shall see him. They also would they pierce also him. They also would pierce him. And all the kids and all the of the earth, of the earth, shall wail, going to wail because of him. Because of him. Even so, what I want to picture to you is, praise God, when the apostle Paul spoke in the fourth chapter of Ephesians and said there was one Lord. Yeah. It was even so. Amen. I said it was even so. Amen. Huh? Amen. I said it was even so. Amen. It's the third. Thank God from Genesis. That's right. Yeah. To the revelation. And all the prophets.
up and talked about him. Yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. That's God. Balaam said, I'll see him. Yes. He didn't say, I'll see them. No, I'll see I shall see him. Yes. But not now I shall behold him. Yes. But not now there shall come a star of Jacob. And the steps are going to rise out of Israel. Going to smite the corners of Moab. And kill all the uh, children of death. Yeah. And say, let me die the death of the righteous. Yes, and yes. let my last day be like his. That's it. That's it. Glory to God, I shall see him. So what is that? I'm Alpha. I am Alpha. And on me. Before the morning star, I was here. Yeah. Thank God, before the empty space of what I owe the north. Thank God, the angels hadn't sang the sun. Praise God, amen to ear. That God hadn't slapped the either. Thank God the angel hadn't. Hey. That seraphim hadn't slapped the oh, either. No. Amen. But it said, I was first. Yeah, I, Hallelujah. To I, was, I was I was first. first. I, I, was, I first. was the one that called the sun. Yeah. Amen. And I was the one yeah. that told the waters to get yeah, yeah, yeah. And I called the dry land. Yeah. Thank God and called them to come on up. Yeah. And they lifted the nose toward heaven. Yeah. Thank God. God in the water set out oh. like a curd dog. Yes. And the master's feet. Yes. Uh, so now he's a plan himself. himself. Praise God, there was a time he couldn't unfold all together. No. Because he had the known it. Yes. That Bible tell me they would not have crucified. Yes. That Lord of those. Uh, so he kept it back and kept it covered. But now he's coming out with it. Yes. Thank God in his fullness. Yes. Yes. Telling you who he is. Yes. I That's right. And I asked him when he said, I'm Alpha, 
and of the and omega. The beginning, the beginning, and the end, and the end. Say the Lord which is, the Lord which is, and which was, was, and which is to come. Don't cover everything. That's it. I, I can't do nothing about it. Don't cover everything. No, no, no. To go away talking back five thousand years ago, he didn't cover that. That's it. And I'm talking about the present. He's to cover that. Yeah. yeah. And talking about a million to come, he covered that. That's That's it. It. I can't do nothing with it. No. I might have give up. So I damned them to the wall and asked, was he the old man? Yeah. And they acknowledged that's the truth. That's the truth. Now, folks, I can't finish my message. Amen. I didn't feel so much when I got started, but now I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they call him like the Apostle Paul when he was ready to go to Rome. Yeah. He says, as much as lie in me, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I ain't got to preach the gospel to them that are at Rome also. Yeah. Now, we dedicate that song to Sister Jenny Dixon, The One Way. May God bless you, Jenny. Amen. Keep and preserve until we see you again in press. God help you and all the saints behind me. Everybody that are listening in, remember, there is only one thing that God Almighty ordained by the word, and I have that. God bless you. God keep you. God preserve you, my friend. Your attention, please. The program you just heard was the last broadcast made by Bishop F.C. Johnson. The program was made in Kingston, Jamaica, the British West Indies. For some unknown reason, this recording is eight minutes short. In supplementing the time, we shall pay tribute to our deceased apostle, Bishop Sherrod C. Johnson. Bishop F.C. Johnson departed this life on the evening of February 22, 1961, in Kingston, Jamaica, the British West Indies. The mighty works of Bishop S.C. Johnson are too numerous to mention in the time allotted. However, he was a true living apostle of the day. His tremendous success was due to his unending prayer, faith, and belief in the Supreme Being, God Almighty. Bishop Johnson was a true living example of faith, courage, and righteousness. He taught preach, and practice all the holy commandments of God. He did it willingly and without an error. He hated evil and fought every false and crooked way. He challenged and fought the entire religious world. No human could stand before him with false doctrine. He destroyed every false prophet that crawled his way. With great fear of God, and an unquenchable love for the souls of humanity, he sacrificed his life, and with great suffering, and without an error, delivered unto the world at large all the holy commandments of God. Bishop S.C. Johnson was a true, living, holy apostle. His excellency of speech and his mighty, magnificent voice shall continue to declare to humanity all the oracles of God. Now, for those who do not understand the biblical teaching on funerals and the dead, we ask you to listen attentively to the voice of Bishop S.C. Johnson as he shall clarify this for you. The Bible is against funerals. Bishop Johnson preached and believed the same. And likewise, we shall not observe a funeral for Bishop S.C. Johnson or anyone else. Your attention. Now, uh, we have uh, quite a bit to do in a few minutes. Always have so much to say, so much to tell you, that it takes me a long time to do it. And a few minutes, me does not suffice. But we have some letters. We want to get rid of them. Now, the first letter from Washington, D.C. Dear Bishop, please explain the scripture that says, For all the days that he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall come at no dead body. Unquote. Does this mean we shouldn't go after the saints when they die? You hear what it said? No dead body. Read that. In the sixth chapter of Numbers, verse 6 and 7 and 
verse 6, 7, and 8. All the days that he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall come at no dead body. He shall not make himself unclean for his father, or for his mother, or his brother, or for his sister when they die. Because the consecration of his God is the part of his. All the days of the separation, he is holy unto the Lord. Yes, now you have the Bible says no dead body. You know, I, I never believed in funerals. By the time God opened my understanding, I never believed in them and always told people uh, that I did. So that means no dead body. When Jesus died, he didn't have a big funeral. Took him down and buried him the same day. When the man said to Jesus, let me go bury my father. In the 8th chapter of Matthew, notice what Jesus said. Matthew 8, 19, 20, or rather 21st verse. Please. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. Whithersoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, right. The oxen have holes, mm -hmm. and the birds of the air have nests, yes. but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Uh -huh. And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Yes, my father is dead. But Jesus said unto him, What? Follow me. You see, the word of God is, is different from the custom of the people. Yes, Some people think it's a crime if you don't go to your father's burial. Follow that time. Amen. Follow and sit around the dead, put on black and mourn, and have a big funeral. That thing is contrary to the word of God. Contrary to the word of God. And you're after, when your dead die, turn them over to the undertaker and let them bury them, and you keep worshiping God and live holy. All right. Don't forget the getting tomorrow night. The nightly broadcast for Big Adventure Johnson will be carried Monday through Saturday night from 9 to 10 p.m. over radio station WHAT. The nightly broadcast of Big Adventure Johnson will be carried Monday through Saturday night from 9 to 10 p.m. over radio station WHAT. 1340. On your